Hello friends, welcome to the video series on SQL PL SQL questions for online exams and certifications. In this video, we'll see three interesting questions. Let's start with the first question. The first question is based on the index. For every question, I would suggest you to pause the question and think through the answer, then continue watching the video. So this first question is based on index and here are five options related to index. I want you to select the three correct option that is related to index. Let's start seeing the options. The first option is index should be created on the columns frequently referred as part of any expression. The second option is whenever a table is dropped, all the associated index created on the table will get automatically dropped. The third option is when a table is dropped, all the associated index created on the table will get invalidated. The fourth option is a non-differable primary key or a unique key constraint in a table automatically attempt to create a unique index. And the fifth option is for each DML operation performed on the table, Oracle automatically updates the index data. So I would suggest you to pause the video, think through the answer, then continue watching the video. Okay, so the right options are when a table is dropped, all the associated index constraint and the triggers will get automatically dropped. The next right option is a non-differable primary key or a unique key constraint in a table automatically attempt to create a unique index. I just want to stress this point. It will not always create the index, but it will attempt to create a unique index. Okay. The third right option is for each DML operation performed on the table, the index data will get automatically updated by Oracle. The rest of the two options are incorrect. In case if you want to know in detail about each and every option, I would suggest you to watch this video because all these options are covered with real time examples here. Okay, let us continue with the next question. Okay, so here is the next question. Can we create a table and a procedure with the same name is the question. So the answer is false because we will not be able to create a table, a procedure and a function with the same name. I'm, I'm talking about the standalone procedure, not the packaged procedure. The next question is, can we create table index and trigger with the same name? The answer is true. Okay. Let me now explain what is the logic behind this naming concept. Okay. So first let us create one table called T. Okay. So the table is created. Now I'm trying to create a procedure called T. Okay. The name is same. Oracle will throw an error saying that the name is already used by an existing object because we will not be able to create a table, a procedure, a function and package with the same name. However, when we try to create an index with a name called T, it will, it is allowed and the index will get created. Similarly, when you try to create a trigger with the name T also, it will get created. See, now that we have created a table, a trigger, an index, all with the same name. If you go and check the user objects data dictionary, you will be able to find all these objects will have a same name. There is a namespace concept behind this. These objects, whatever the object I am showing here, share the same namespace. That means the objects within the namespace will have a unique name. We will not be able to create two objects with same name in this namespace. For example, you, we will not be able to create a table and a function, a package sequence with same name. However, the trigger is in a different namespace. Similarly, the index is in a different namespace. So we can have a same name for a trigger and index and view. Okay, so that is possible. In fact, I have mentioned only the few objects here. This is not the complete list. However, I just want to stress this point. There is a namespace concept here. Based on that only, we will be able to create the name of this object. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos, interview questions, SQL practical questions and concept videos. And thanks a lot for watching this video. If you want any questions to be answered, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID and thanks a lot.